what's up guys i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be ready to do playback um agent zero and hello um they're gonna be talking about jd pickett's ruining will smith because will smith been down bad really bad right now uh, it's been taking hell out the hell so let's see what this is about welcome back play back we here man gotta talk about this will and jada smith thing man because jada is wildin', bro she's straight fucking b and then i consider private you just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody nobody's business, business yeah, but yeah but now black twitter has <laughs> claimed it as their business <laughs> but you know I... I think um you need to say clearly what happened as far as what you and i decided we were gonna take our space and what happened yeah and then i got into an entanglement with August, that's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Marcel, you know what that is, what she did right there? Uh, it's called double speak. Yeah, it's saying did. a lie with a word that's not perceived as a lie. Mm -hmm. Just say what it is. Just say what it is. Recently, Jada said some wild, some more like questionable things that. Okay, before they keep going, think about that. No one knew what the word entanglement meant before she said that. I had never heard of that word. You probably never heard of that word. She really just, like, I don't know whether she went to the dictionary or something. for, Because I never heard no entanglement before. I was like, what? I was like, I never heard no word before. I heard, again, tangled. I know the movie Tangled. I was like, entanglement? Never heard of that. A, a lot of people viewed it as, like, disrespectful to Will Smith. Especially because they were married at one point. So... At this point, we're giving you some backstory. This is back when Will and Jada got around the red table, talked it up, chopped it up. And this is where everything really started to unfold and begin because Jada is sitting here double talking. Just say, just, yeah, nigga, just say, just say it, just say it. We grow. Relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that mm -hmm. wasn't possible. So, so what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start. You know, I know, I know this tactic here, what Will Smith is doing. Will Smith is trying to get answers, yes. right? And yes. Jada is trying to not give answers. So Will is having to ask the same question over and over again to just get some answers. Because this is Jada's, I believe, her Facebook watch show. Yeah. The red table, the pink table, some table they talk over, right? So she's making content. To her, this is content. She has an audience of people she's amassed by talking about interesting topics. It just so happens that Will Smith continues to be one of the names that gets dragged in the mud in some of these more controversial topics she's having. Isn't it odd, though, he has to keep saying, so what was it? Oh. Four and a half years ago, yeah, started a, now. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I, when, um, when Aug first came around, he was, he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And, the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different Isn't that crazy? Uh, that, 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 that's, that's insane. It's like, that's man, insane. he was so, he was so sick. First of all, the fact that y'all just telling his business like that is crazy. That's something that's like, I would assume very personal. But like, he was just so, so fucking sick, dog. And we had to help him out. And so Will is like, I'm just giving him a place to stay, trying to get back on his feet. Get his strength stop, back stop, together. Stop, 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 stop. Here comes to Jada stop. beating the boonies down. <laughs> it's definitely going to make you. <laughs> I mean, well, he definitely got help there in that situation, in that part. Go to you, nigga. Beat that, beat that shit up. <laughs> it's some medicine, boy. Ridiculous, dog. It's so odd. Look Nobody. at him! <laughs> Caleb, show him! Look at him, bro! <laughs> you can't cap. That's the face of a man who's sad. Who is down bad. 
Like, like he knows his, like his popularity is kind of low key ruined because of this whole situation with this. Look, show him. Look at him, bro. Look what you're doing to him. <laughs> you gotta, I gotta relive this. Like, yeah, he was in our house. No, to help pull him through. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was cur done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know, no, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. Launched into an... In oh, God. Again, just, just say it. Just, just say it. Who are you lying to? <laughs> He's <laughs> asking the right questions. He'll get to the bottom yeah. of it. And then he's sitting there just saying, so then what did you do? Like, he's just sitting there, like, like laying it up, and you're just like... Entanglement, like I, that's like even sitting there and say entanglement is nuts to me. <laughs> so now, fast forward to where we are right now, a whole bunch of messy stuff that happened. But Jada is still talking about her and Will's sex life. <laughs> the reasons why I felt like your Netflix project is so powerful is because for the first time, Gammy and I were on the phone and we were having a very in-depth conversation about sex, like it was nothing. And I got off the phone and I was like, did I just have that conversation <laughs> with my mother? Totally. Oh my God. I was like, what? Why is Willow here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Willow Yo, that shit is crazy. They went out of their way to include her for this conversation. Oh. Why is Jay, why is, why is Willow there in a conversation where they about to have a conversation? Yeah, that is weird. Like your child's in that conversation too. Why? That doesn't make no sense. Th that really makes no sense. Like she's just there, just just there to listen to what you got to say about that situation. That's a low key kind of weird. Have a, a deep discussion about her mom's sex life with her father. Why is that happening, bro? Yo. That's uh, <laughs> they live in such a that's, different that's, life. That's oh, her, that's Jada's mom right there. Yeah, bro, what? Will Will Smith and Jada Jada had Willow and Jaden. No, I'm saying oh, right oh, there's yeah, her mom. Yeah, that's her mom. Yeah. Bro, she looks incredible. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Bro, what? Yeah. Wow, mother. Totally. Oh my God. I was like, that's healing right there. That was probably the first time. We ever had a conversation about sex in that way, in that kind of free flow. And I'm not just talking about just basic surface stuff. Like we went totally. in, kind of like how you and I have done. Yeah, yeah because. <laughs> Clarify. What is going on? What the fuck, man? I am from here. Y'all too free flowing over there for me, dog. Is that good? Is that like. Like, I, I don't know. You tell me. I don't Me and my parents have never had a conversation like that. He, that hasn't even crossed. The only conversation I had with my dukes about sex is not getting a girl pregnant. <laughs> that is it. But not no free-flowing conversation, especially when you was giving up to all downstairs. <laughs> Down the hallway from, from Jada. From Jaden and, and Willow. Oh, man. It's kind of hard to talk about sex if you ain't talking about, about sex. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it was just so natural. Oh, I don't, dog. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I don't I understand what she I'm does. So, I'm so serious when I say, if Willow's input is not monumental in this, there is no reason for her to be here. And she better not be saying shit like that <laughs> the entire time. Hold on, I she think... better not be ad-libbing this entire time because she's been pointless. It's kind of hard to talk about sex if you ain't talking about, about sex. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, okay. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Not really, but okay. If you're not talking about it, then it's hard to talk about it if you're not talking about it. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. What does that mean, Willow? <laughs> 
Wasn't it funny because it was, it was a pointless so sentence? Natural. And, and the like, show helped you have that conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, because oh, we, we would have thing. never had a reason to go absolutely. that in depth. <laughs> uh, but let me ask okay, you. Okay, wait. That's <laughs> important. What she just said is important. You wouldn't have a. So she's our. What I think she's trying to illustrate with what she's about to say is that it's important to have these conversations with family. For, to a degree, sure. But she just said that the content is the thing that supercharged their need for the conversation, not some need to yes. really get together with your family. And, Which is crazy. So if the, she just said the content is a priority. So she kind of defeated the whole purpose of this, except for, the, like, you, you understand what I'm saying? I see what you're this saying. This became an entertainment piece, not a reflection piece. That's what it became. That she just clarified entertainment brought us together, but she realized that it also had this reflective piece to it. But the priority is the content. But it's, it's sad that th that she's that age. She's that age. I'm not saying this is like to put her down, but there's it's just sad that that's the reality. But two, it sounds like her and, for example, her and Will were going through things already. Mm -hmm. And so you allow your entire marriage to potentially go off rail and still don't have the conversation you may need to have with people around you, such as your mother, but instead only have it because you had a viral clip with you and Will creating content. That's cr that's crazy. And of openness yeah. at all in the culture. I don't know. It just was very sort of like, we don't, don't talk pregnant. about. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Is that what I said to you? Don't yes. get pregnant. Don't try yeah. it. There wasn't a lot of talk about it. No. Yeah. And it so you learn. For, and it was pre-internet, right? Yeah. So it was like we were really siloed in a lot of ways. and. I don't think we went naturally to our mothers to talk about it. Mm -mm. It's still weird to like, I adore my mother, but I don't know. Like, I know. do you guys talk about well, it? Let, let me tell you what's so funny, Gwyneth. <laughs> my mother's conversation to me was, don't get pregnant. I don't even think my mom said yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I also told you that it so wasn't going to be enjoyable. Mm. It is not going to be fun. I think that that myth is, um, that's not okay. Yeah. I mean, for some people, I mean, everyone's body is different. Get her out the fucking broadcast. <laughs> Willow does not have a purpose here because she's not adding anything. And she's young. She's young too. Like she's not of age to really add that much value. To sit there and say that myth. It's just not. A... Like what? Okay, Willow... What is the follow up to that? Okay. Did you have a great time your first time, Willow? Well, yeah. His name was David. We did it in the back of your car, mom. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is the buildup off of what she just said? Yeah, it's it's a, not a myth. Such a, such a pointless, such a pointless <laughs> addition. But yeah. I don't think that you should tell someone it's gonna be hurtful. Right. Yeah. right. It might not. <laughs> That's a very patriarchal thing to um, to propagate in yeah. the minds of young women. Yeah, I mean, I have to say my first, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> say it was a... I'm like, sorry, what the fuck? What the fuck? What does that have to do with the patriarchal at all? Her telling you that it's not going to be enjoyable the first time because it is your first time. How is that patriarchal? This is like, no, that's, that's something that all of us women more or less like feel. That's like, that's like if I was like, yo, bro, the first time you wear those shoes, it's not going to be as comfortable because you got to break them in. Yeah. And then like Nike telling me, uh, that's such a patriarchal way of yeah. looking. Like, that's such a, uh. It's so consumerism of you. Well, that's something that I can work with. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't know their bodies enough, and they surely don't know the bodies of people that they're having sex with. So mm -hmm. sometimes things can be a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You're not really aware of how somebody's body is, how it functions, how, mm -hmm. how to get pleasure. You know what I'm You're saying? You're so correct. Well, of that, course. That's what was left out in my conversations with was my mother. <laughs> Hey, what's crazy? People are theorizing that she's talking about Will in this entire. She's the people theorize she's talking about Will. That's what kind of forced them to split up. Is that there are certain things that just weren't making them happy. You know and that so would make for, sense for Willow to say that's so correct, <laughs> not knowing that she's talking about this, this nigga's pops. <laughs> yeah, no, they had an open oh. relationship though, right? People have many people that came up to me and told me that Will and Jada for a while were their example of like how an open relationship. Successful. That's so crazy. That yeah, but uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was during that four or five year yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. 
if she's sitting here saying, I just wasn't happy, I just wasn't happy. Now she's sitting here saying, you just need to know your partner's body. So I feel like if Waleed, will. that'd be like if Waleed went on a video and was like, you know, some people you work with are just so fucking inconsiderate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the comments would be like, yo, why are you saying that about agent? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Just for so many years, man. Just I was just so unhappy. <laughs> I'd be like, what? what? Damn. Okay. And then would then drag you along on the video. It's like, let's really talk about this for a second. <laughs> and sat me down on a big table. And you just sitting there like, so what happened with me? I went to go work for Cash. So <laughs> me and Cash, like, he just needed so much help at that time. And I just started editing for him. And, you know, what I really start realizing is that I need to stop trying to fulfill other people's editing goals. And, and fulfill my own editing goals. And fulfill goals. my own editing goals. <laughs> He's like, you're like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> never heard the word pleasure come out of her mouth. I never heard none of that. Yeah. I want to say, once humans can fix the way that we perceive <coughs> sex and... What? Just anything that has to do with relating to one another, the world's gonna become a better place. What made... <laughs> Bro, why is she in this conversation? Because she's not really saying nothing. What is she? I don't even understand what she's even talking about. She's just there at this point. to has fucked your brain up. Oh, fuck. She just bro. said, once humans fix the way they relate to one another, it'll, it'll be, be a better, better place. place. <laughs> and not only is that so fucking obvious, there's no means of getting it done and serves no fucking purpose in the conversation, Willow. I've been, I had a sociology class and sociology makes you feel like you're so moralistically above other people. You feel like you're so motivated by the pursuit of helping others in, holistically, like on a macro level, that your life serves a more valuable purpose than someone else's life who might be to like run a company. Yeah. But that company, what does the company do? Like in practice, what does the company do? The company, well, it hires dozens and dozens, maybe hundreds of people. It gives people a livelihood. I, hopefully it's, you know, under conditions that are good and safe and healthy. And it gives them a purpose and a meaning to life and something to work towards. Like it does plenty of great things and they provide plenty of great products and services in the world, hopefully, they're not scamming people. And in the meanwhile, like, you sit there in a sociology class and you leave and you feel like just because you thought some dumb shit like that, that you're really good for the world. Do something of value. Just, that didn't mean, that sounds so pointless. It frustrates me because when I went into a sociology class, they actually bamboozled me for a whole year. What the? <laughs> Is that a house cleaner or something? To the point where I was about to change my minor to that bullshit because I thought that it would help me make the world a better place. And now that I'm not doing that and I'm doing this instead and dozens of people across all my channels help me push out this content, the people get paid for this stuff. And the first people I look to to hire are the people around me, people I grew up with, people I feel I could use that opportunity. So you would argue that I'm not really doing much good for the world because I'm just putting out videos, but look at the impact it's having on people. You just had a, the most impactless sentence I could have ever fucking imagined. And it, it's on a podcast where they're already having conversations where they don't realize the impact of what they're saying. The amount of just like lack of self-awareness is, the amount of lack of self-awareness is just like, it's crazy. I'm sorry, I, it's, I don't know if I can make it through this if Willow keeps talking. In a sexual way, and if there's a block, you can say, oh, there's a block here, or this doesn't feel right to me. Definitely. Yeah. I know you revealed some of your um, own struggles with sex, like, you know, communication. What has healed for you? You know what was the most striking thing for me was to remember how important it is for women to speak up for themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens when you don't speak up for yourself? You're also not accountable. That's really you true. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not saying, hey, this is my half of this, or this is like where I feel lacking, or here's my insecurity. Yeah. It's so important for us to be accountable for our sexual selves. And if yeah. we're 
uncomfortable or we're not getting what we want, we have to muster the bravery to say, could I ask you this question? Mm -hmm. Or like, let's talk about this. Yeah. Right. Like, because as soon as you make it unthreatening, then it's easier for couples. <laughs> I mean, sure. the thing that Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. I mean, we started in this at a very young age, mm -hmm. you know, 22 years old. It's crazy. That's why the accountability part really hit for me yeah. because I think yeah. you expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? If you love me, you should be able to read my mind. You should read my mind. Yeah. What? You know what That's I mean? Okay, so obviously, she's obviously talking about Will Smith right now. She has to because who else she gonna be talking about? Tupac. A lot of resin feet him. But let's be real here. Who else she talking about? So I'm supposed to know your mind. Wait, she said I need. I should. You should know my mind. Cause that's how much love is. You should know my my mind already. That's a huge pitfall. Yeah, it is. I hate that. You know, it's so that. weird though. It's like someone doesn't read your mind and we feel crushed. Crushed. Like we feel what? so disappointed. Why do we, where do we what? get that I from? I don't know. What the fuck is going on right now, dog? Are they saying that? Oh my God, I'm so upset that I didn't marry a psychic. What is going on, nigga? There's, women, please let me know in the comment section. There's no way y'all have that expectation for me, because that is a crazy expectation right there. Mm, you'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised. Very surprised. To not only read your mind, but know what you want sexually off rip? Bro, that's crazy, dog. And mind you, she's still dragging this nigga well. She didn't even, like... It wasn't even like subliminally no, yeah. implied. She, she said his name right before yeah. saying this. <laughs> like, yeah, that's why it was so hard with me and Will, man. It was so hard. I just, it was, but she's taking accountability. She's saying the reason of those failures is because she didn't communicate her desires. But that's such an odd expectation to have. It is, so, and she's recognizing it's odd. But, but it still took her a while to understand it. I, what I want to understand is why even have those expectations to begin with. That's a fact. I just tell you what I like. And if you don't do them, I'd tell you again. And if you don't do them, I'd say, like, why aren't you doing things I like? What's going on? You don't like me? It's such an odd way to, like, look at things. Like, your, your mother loves you, but you still have to explain to her things, right? Like, y'all had to sit here and have a conversation about things. You love your children, right? But you still have to explain to them what to do. Like, they're not psychics, dog. Like, what are you talking about right now? They're not psychics. No one's a psychic. So you have to explain it, especially if it's so, I don't know what it was, but if it's so extreme to where they had to exercise an open relationship, why do you not think that that's something that needs to be explained? What is going on? I don't, I don't feel like exercise. that at all, I guess, or maybe I've just grown out of it. I think it's you like, probably... you gotta tell me what you, <laughs> what you need. Like, I can't read your mind. Right, I'm, Cause right. I've grown out of it too. Yeah. yeah. Tell me right. what you need, tell me what you want. And on top of it, I know that I have to be accountable to do the same. And yeah. do you? I really try. Yeah, yeah. It's uncomfortable, yeah, but it's deeply healthy. And I think around sex, because it's something that we don't talk about a lot, and there's so much fantasy around mm -hmm. it. You know how confused we are because of porn? I know. Yes. I was just talking about this with somebody. <laughs> porn has really messed us up in some ways. I'm supposed to be there for every whim, every pleasure. Right. And that the woman's pleasure doesn't matter. Yeah. No. Nope. It's not even thought about. No, no, no. Well, she and is then the getting other to layer, this which nigga. I find really she is getting to this nigga Will like crazy right now, nigga. But then to sit there and say like, I, I, I'm just. Great mystery unpeels itself like an onion. We have to solve this case. I'm supposed to be there all the time for you to get pleasure, but I'm not getting pleasure. Again, mind you, their daughter is listening into this, which is also nuts. <laughs> but also, to sit here, why, why do we keep having, why do we have to know Will's business like this, dog? We don't. Why do we have to know Will is not giving it up and not pleasuring you? Why? We don't. And Prawn's negatives isn't that it reinforces negative sex. You like, it, it, you should know not to learn from Prawn. And if you don't, you're dumb. And the person you're fucking is dumb. How many times have you been told that's not how you deal with women in real life? If you still do it, you're dumb. 
So let's finish that right there. That's complete. That has nothing to do with why prawn is bad. Prawn is bad because chemically it messes up your brain like any other drug, so you get hooked on it. Right. You know what the craziest full circle of all of this is? Is that the only reason that man was watching prawn in the first place is he because he couldn't find a woman to fulfill those desires for him. Ain't that so crazy that that was just his motive because he's too socially awkward or even his attempts at communication, she just wouldn't listen or she's not even maybe capable. You know, some people, everybody's anatomy is different. Maybe she's not capable, who knows? All of that to say, discussions like this is worth having, but the problem becomes the impact of those words. If you're so popularly known for being his wife, then anything you say regarding your life as it's related to him is gonna be a point of news. Will Smith is not a regular YouTuber, regular guy on the road. He's a goddamn superstar. But not only that, He's like, a superstar, of course these news outlets is gonna jump what? at a story where they're like, oh, hold on, Will's dick don't work? Hold on now. <laughs> that's literally what it sounds like. That's, but not only that, but it's, it's 22 years though. You knew like, again, just think about what she's saying. She's saying that she wasn't communicating. So that means that that was going on for 22 years. Yeah. He wasn't, I wasn't being pleased or I had a hard time being pleased. That's 22 years. Anyway, I think conversations like that are they're necessary. Maybe even, they're important, maybe even necessary. The way you have them though does have implications because of the life that you live, period. I can talk, sit here and talk about this stuff because no one on the internet knows I have any affiliation to any woman. They don't know the women I dated, women I've been in a relationship with. Y'all have no clue. So if I sit here and talk about her experience, you won't go to someone's IG and spam them. And so I can say things. Now, if I got on YouTube and for the last six years had a girlfriend and then I had a table talk where I was like, yeah, sexually, like women just need deeper throats. Then like, you'd be like, yo, she don't have a deep throat. Like everyone's gonna be high G. And it's like, if you can't see that and staring you right in the face, I don't know if Will's communicated that to you, then what's going on right now is some serious lack of communication issues. And for me, it is resulting in some fantastic content, Jay, to keep it pushing. Also, um, um, women women are hilarious when they say like, y'all gotta stop over-sexualizing us. Almost every single podcast or show like this we see, when women get together and they produce their own content, they still talk about sex. Yeah, fucking the, the white lady right there just talked about how sex was the most important, one of the most important pillars. Yeah, and, okay. ha and, and literally Which is hired, true, but but hired a sex expert too on top of that. She has a sex expert. That's awesome. Stop man. it. Women, women have to, y'all gotta answer that too. There's a lot of questions y'all gotta answer. Don't tell men to stop over sexualizing y'all and then when y'all make y'all own content and produce y'all own stuff, y'all still talk about sex. I don't, I don't understand it. Hey man, at the end of the day, hey, Dragon Will in it. <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah, Dragon Will's daughter in it. She's Dragon Will in this, like she, he's not a person she cares about. Yeah, yeah bro, if, if Will was a person I didn't care about and I was married to Will, yes, he's in my title every single time. We're dragging that shit. Fuck Will. I'm getting my views and my money. Twenty two years unhappy. Twenty two years not pleasure. Twenty two years like he ain't even saying it, but come on dog. Yeah, Will like yeah, facts actually. Damn. Yeah, facts. When you really think about it, I wish Willow jumped in and like I want to dispel that. <laughs> <laughs> when you really think about it, guys, when you hit the notification bell, you will be updated when we upload on this channel, dog. Really? I know. Let's dispel that myth right now. <laughs> Let's also dispel this myth by if you don't click on this video, you're not going to enjoy it because you will, dog. So go ahead and click on this video. And we'll catch y'all in the next one later on. Well, that's the end of the video. Um, it was pretty funny. Um, y'all, you know, like, subscribe, you know. Um, I guess Will, you know, he's just taking L's out the L's. Um, I don't know. Doris? Divorce? Can I say yes? Divorce? Possible divorce could happen? Probably. But, um, yeah. Y'all, you know. Y'all like, you know, them, you know. Y'all should subscribe to them. And, you know, if you like my channel, subscribe to my channel, you know. And, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and peace.